What's up everyone, it's your boy Norenrad89 here bringing you another video and for today's video it's going to be a rad movie review for Influencer. This is a film that's currently streaming on Shudder and for me this was just a complete blind watch. I knew nothing about this film, literally just saw the, the title and the poster and clicked play on Shudder and man I was greatly surprised by this film. So today we're going to talk about the positives, the negatives, the rating and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. Influencer is a new horror film directed by Curtis David Harder, and this is a film that was doing the festival circuit last year, but it, it was on Shutter May of this year, so I'm actually considering this a 2023 movie for me, and man, like I said, let's get right into the positives right away, is that this is just one of those films that had me surprised and kept me guessing, and I like that factor in it, which is kind of hard to do now, because once you watch so many TV shows and you watch so many movies, you've seen a lot of stories redone and redone, and this one actually had some really cool twists and just kept going and kept me guessing, and I like that factor of the film, so it's very fresh and new flavor. And this film stars Cassandra Nod, Emily Tennant, and Rory J. Sapper. And man, performances across the board, I think, are very solid in this film. They are all really strong. And this film, I don't want to give too much away in the story, but Emily Tennant plays Madison, who is a online uh, influencer. And she goes to Thailand, who she's invited by her boyfriend, but he doesn't attend with her. She goes by herself. And it's kind of like this film is the dangers of, you know, being in a foreign place, meeting new people and stuff. It, focuses a lot on that and those are very heavy themes in this film but yeah like I said the performances are very strong in particular Cassandra Nod as CW man Mia Goth Jenna Ortega they better watch out and if this girl doesn't get cast in more horror films it's just going to be criminally wrong because she is fantastic and this movie was just so captivating with everything that she did and she has like a lot of mannerisms and just non-speaking line moments where it's just you know, it made me feel like I was kind of watching like, you know, Ryan Gosling is one of those actors, for example, like that are just really good at using their body language. And so is Cassandra Nod. So, yeah, for real, she better be cast in more horror films because I think she's going to knock it out of the park just like she did in this movie. This film is also really gorgeous to look at and has a fantastic score as well. And a lot of those aspects go a long way in a film for me because it creates an atmosphere when it's beautiful to look at and it has good music that kind of sets the tone. It doesn't necessarily have to go through the whole film, but like I said, it sets the tone and an atmosphere for the film. And like I said, this one has a clear cut you know, tone to it. And I like that factor of it. So it has flavor to it, a new tone. It has a kind of that new generation thing when it has all, a lot of the tech stuff, a lot of stuff is about, you know, Facebook and Instagram. So it's kind of in the same world as like searching and like missing. It doesn't all take place like on a laptop screen or anything like that, but it has the more recent, you know, technology vibe to it. And it works, you know what I mean? Sometimes I get bothered by the fact that we have so many tech, so much technology in movies now, you know, everything's at our fingertips. And in this film, they use it as something to make the story more interesting. And I like that factor. We also do have some cool creepy moments, some gore moments and everything. I definitely, in personal taste wise, would have appreciated some more gore and stuff, but the stuff that we do get and the kills, it does, it is really cool. And I like that. You know what I mean? It's just one of those films that they could have, they could have went the next level, but it still has an awesome feel to it when you get to those creepy moments because like in this film they kind of build like I said the atmosphere and then it kind of comes out of nowhere sometimes and you're like a little bit confused because the tone just kind of shifts but in a good way you know what I mean not jarring in it like oh let's continue let's take this ride kind of thing but Influencer wasn't a perfect film it was a very fantastic surprise but it wasn't perfect let's go into some mixed and negatives right now is that one for me is that there's some character decisions later in the third act of the film. I'm not going to spoil anything, don't worry, but just decisions and maybe writing decisions that I would say I might have changed. I might have would have changed some of that stuff in terms of it kind of felt like we were doing certain things just to get to a certain place in the third act, and you kind of have to strain credibility a little bit to get there. But you know what I mean? For me being like that is our only mix and negative, that's kind of a little bit of a minor one. You know what I mean? It's nothing huge. It's not like the third act is a complete flop or anything like that so it's just a minor negative so this one is fantastic and a film that I thoroughly enjoyed and as it sits right now <clears throat> sorry as it sits right now currently this is my second favorite film 
that I've seen all year. Keep in mind, I haven't seen, you know, Across the Spider-Verse yet and stuff like that. And th there's some films I haven't seen yet, The Little Mermaid and everything. I haven't seen every movie. But in terms of the stuff I've seen right now, this year, it's Evil Dead Rise and Influencer. Those are like the top two films that like just kept me entertained and give, gave me what I wanted. So yeah, Influencer is a film that I highly recommend. Like I said, it's currently streaming on Shudder. And this is a film that doesn't have a lot of gore in it and it's not a lot of stretching horror type stuff where you know you can actually like I would recommend this to a non-horror fan because this is a good movie to watch that teaches you like said that focusing on like traveling alone or going abroad or trusting people in another location you know all those kind of things are prominent themes and stuff you can teach and like I said this is a film that I would recommend to a non-horror fan because I think even non-horror fans could really enjoy this movie. So Influencer in my book for a rating for this film, this bad boy is going to get an 8 out of 10. This is a very solid film, like I said, one that I highly recommend, 8 out of 10, very strong rating. But these are just my thoughts and my opinions on Influencer. That means I would love to hear from all of you in the comment section. If you've seen this film, let me know so we can discuss, or even if you haven't, just drop a comment. Say hi, say what's up, Norn. I would love to talk to you and say what's up and everything too. So like I said... Thanks for sticking around with me all for this rad movie review of this film. And be sure to like, subscribe, and poke that notification bell so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.